In the last few weeks, we've been all too aware of the scale of violence against women in our country. So for more on this, please welcome Rachel Paris. <laughs> Now, there's a growing feeling that male violence against women and girls isn't being taken seriously. Now, Nish, when I talk about an epidemic of male violence against women, do you feel an urge to immediately step in and say, it wasn't me? No, not really. <laughs> no, because actually, you're not a prick. <laughs> That's the nicest thing you've said to me in five years. <laughs> Trunish. And interestingly, <laughs> my behaviour towards you is a good example of misogyny. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> good spot, Nish. However, when Justice Secretary Dominic Raab was asked about misogyny last week, he said this. And misogyny is, of course, uh, absolutely wrong, whether it's uh, a, a man against a woman uh, or, or a woman against a man. <laughs> That's right. Dominic Raab, a man who looks like the thickest member of your stag do... <laughs> ..and the actual Justice Secretary thinks that misogyny is just being a bit mean to someone. Maybe it's a man, maybe it's a woman, maybe it's a houseplant. <laughs> the hundreds of pigs being culled across the country, maybe it's not down to Brexit, but the rise of porcine misogyny. <laughs> I don't want to be unkind to Mr Raab, but it's genuinely difficult not to be. <laughs> And it is tricky to know the meaning of a word that affects 51% of the population. I mean, what do you expect him to do? Look it up? <laughs> He's a very busy man, Nish. Now, in recent weeks, we've seen the sentencing of police officer Wayne Cousins for the rape and murder of Sarah Everard. A man has been charged with the murder of Sabina Nessa, and this week, another two or three women in the UK will be murdered by a man. Like every week. This is evidence of misogyny. Sorry, best be clear, misogyny against women. <laughs> and these are not isolated incidents. They're part of a daily culture of misogyny that controls women and limits our freedom and diminishes us. Catcalling, violent porn, rape jokes on WhatsApp or locker room banter. The only thing you should be able to joke about in a locker room is that some people feel it's OK to use the communal hair dryers to dry their pubes. <laughs> is, is that a bad thing? Yes, Nish. <laughs> Boris Johnson has said he doesn't want to make misogyny a hate crime because it'll increase the volume of work for police in this area. But the scale of a problem probably shouldn't be a reason not to act on it. You don't get builders with slogans on their vans saying, no job too small, but most are too big. <laughs> If other hate crimes exist in law, then I think misogyny should be one of them. It's the least the criminal justice system can do, and that's the exact amount they like to do. <laughs> so if misogyny is both not important enough to learn the meaning of the word and too enormous for the government to tackle, what can we do about it? And by we, who do I mean, Nish? Society? No, Nish, don't be mad. Women! <laughs> What can women do about it? It's all on us. Time to get our house in order. Stop slacking, for goodness sake. What can we, as women, bloody well do about it? <laughs> for one, we can use the services on offer to us. For example, the proposed new 888 app suggested by BT and backed by Pretty Patel, which allows lone women to be tracked via their mobile phone as they walk home. Why seek fundamental changes to allow women to exist freely in society when we can simply monitor their movements? <laughs> Problem solved, Nish. I say, let's go a step further and have us all microchipped like your cat. <laughs> also, what a beautiful thing it is to allow a Conservative government to let the private sector step in to make women safe. Should we bring out a far-reaching plan to tackle endemic misogyny? No. Someone will release an app. <laughs> If you don't want to use this service, then the next piece of advice, offered by the Met Police, is that women in danger should shout out to a passerby, run into a house, knock on a door, wave down a bus, or call 999. <laughs> Kidnap victims have had it wrong for decades. <laughs> it seems obvious when you think about it. Simply ask your kidnapper to wait for a few minutes while you make a quick phone call. Kidnappers are famously patient. <laughs> run into a house, just one of those open, unlocked houses that you see along the street. Or, best practice, wave down a bus. 
They're the fourth emergency service. Why wouldn't you? Wave down a bus, whistle for a taxi, wink at a train. <laughs> Wave at a bus is the kind of advice you'd get if you asked Paddington Bear what to do. <laughs> the Met also says that if a plainclothes officer is operating solo, you should ask, where are your colleagues? That's a comfort. You might soon be joined by a fellow officer, like one of the members of Cousins' WhatsApp group who shared misogynistic messages, or any of the more than 750 Met Police employees accused of sexual misconduct in recent years. Ah! I don't know whether to laugh or wave down a bus. <laughs> And remember, we are still advised to walk home in groups. But 1.6 million women in the UK are victims of domestic abuse every year. Women aren't safe in their own homes. Should we tackle male violence at the root, or should women organise a posse before heading to the lounge? It's tricky. <laughs> it's tricky, isn't it? Of the 52,210 rapes recorded in 2020, fewer than one in 60 resulted in a suspect being charged. That falls lower if the victim is black or Asian or from an ethnic minority. An app isn't going to stop that. Bus drivers aren't going to stop that. And walking home in groups or latching onto a random Hindu on your way home isn't going to stop that. <laughs> So far, the solutions offered for the epidemic of violence against women have all been to monitor, control and victim blame women. To address your confusion, Mr Raab, that's what misogyny is. <laughs> One in four women are abused by a partner, so chances are you either are an abuser or you know one. Maybe you're in a fun WhatsApp group with one. <laughs> what can you change? What can you do? Because women are already doing enough and we're knackered. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah.